The first thing you always do in every control RTS game is make a steam plant. For more advanced players, sometimes you only make one steam plant and then rush someone else. But for for a beginner from beginner stand, standpoint, it's always best to make a couple steam plants to get your income rolling. They increase your cash by plus three per minute. Pretty good, right? Yeah, you need cash. So right now, as you can see what I just did there, I sold two units to increase my cash for my next steam plant. That's very this if you're a beginner. Uh, I would recommend that you keep all units at the start, since it's very hard to know when you'll be needing those two units in the future. Good tip to decide whether you want to sell your two units to increase your steam plant production is check around you. Are your are are your enemies near you? Are they building up an army? If so, you might want to counter that and stop building steam plants and build up an army yourself. Now, when you're waiting for money to gener generate, oh, it's always be best to look around to see what your opponent is doing. If your opponent makes like a couple steam plants and for a very long time doesn't build anything, they're most likely rushing airport and planes are devastating. You need to counter that by boats or snipers or, or if you can beat them to planes, but I wouldn't recommend that. Alright, so tech research. I researched skyscraper. Now I chose Republic because all my other gov I, I'm just trying to get golden on every government so that Republic is one I don't have golden. For beginners, I recommend dictatorship. Dictatorship is pretty average all around. You have those five X of population in case someone decides to rush you or you rush someone else. Dictatorship, in my opinion, is the best government to play. Intermediate or beginner or advanced. So I decide to go... I, I, you always want to uh, make a focus in Control RTS. My focus this game is to get one skyscraper, get a landing ship, and uh, help my ally green here uh, uh, in blue. Of blue, whoops. So that's that's my plan. You always want to create a plan. If you think too long for a plan, you're wasting valuable time and effort. Now the ally system. I allied faded awesome five. If if you don't know who to ally and like the none of your friends are on the server, it's usually best to ally the best players to increase your win percent percentage. Or some people like to ally the person closest to you. If you choose dictatorship and your opponent closest to you choose anarchy, I wouldn't recommend allying you al allying them because you can easily take over them, get a whole island, and ally someone else from a different island. So so I researched docks. Now, docks can only build their water, obviously. So while I'm researching landing ship, my skyscraper is already built. You usually want to play or place your skyscrapers near your capital because your capital can shoot units. Now my capital, there was a it, it's a bug where my capital starts with lower health, but doesn't really matter the situation since no one is near me. Yep. So I got nine pop. Uh, for, uh, I saved one pop for the landing ship. You don't want 10 units and have to sell one in order to make room for the landing ship. That's a common mistake people make. So I go and build these and the low, uh, low landing ship and then unload it. Now you'll see a bit of multitasking here. I'll put my landing ship back to achieve my two other units while selecting my other units to attack Blue's plant. If you're an advanced player, multitasking, multitasking is how you get ahead of other people. There were plenty of multitasking and one unit versus one unit combat. But I will show you that later in the video.
So now I I come at green. Hooray! Heroes of the century. Now green got snipers, hoping to easily dominate blue's population advantage. So I just come in, protect his snipers, and just ruin blue's plans once and for all. Like blue versus green, it was like a 50-50. Snipers aren't that aren't that big of a deal. Unless your opponent has like tons of snipers, then it's kind of big deal. But I, I'm not doing the sniper route. I might show you other routes in another tutorial video, but this, but in this episode, I'll show you the rush landing ship into attack, attack a foe on another island strategy and divide. All right, so you usually want to kill steam plants first to lower your opponent's income. I separated my army here to maximize my steam plant killing speed. Now, I saw that Red has joined, but luckily he's not on my island, so I don't have to focus on defense right now. You usually don't want to attack capitals unless you have a significant advantage over your opponent. Just remove their income and you, you have a steady sub, steady increase in, in your advantage over your opponent. So, I, I, so I'm just placing my units near blue to make sure if blue decides to just somehow bombard my, my friend green here with, with units, I'll be there. Now, back to focusing on my island. So, I don't want to get backstabbed with like immediately yellow joins. Chooses communism, just makes 10 units, and, and just delays the game for like forever. I don't want that to happen. So, I sold my dogs and my land ships since I won't need them anymore. Those are useless. Just get the extra cash. Make more skyscrapers. Since my population isn't that good. While researching tank factory. Now tanks are good versus units. Good versus buildings. Terrible versus planes. That's tanks. So right now I see my opponent has only buildings. Yellow and black aren't even playing. There's no one playing yellow and black. So I'm building tank factory. I move my units to green because red has become a threat and blue has just, has just left. Therefore I just move my units near red to delay that. Now I won't attack red now. Since obviously I will probably lose unless me and Faded do some ridiculous stuff and all of our units is at 1 HP. Pretty unlikely. Even advanced people and unit versus unit combat is very hard to pull off all units surviving. So now I could have, instead of getting tank factory, went for a unit upgrades and got a bunch of heavy soldiers or, reg or a ton of regular soldiers. But I have so much time, I just, I just got tanks. Tanks, one tank is basically equal, let's just say, one light tank is equal to two light soldiers. That's tanks. Now, heavy tank is pretty expensive, and it costs so much time, I'd rather just get a ton of normal tanks. So that tech, I will not touch. Alright, I just realized I had left a unit near my capital. Somehow, even advanced people make mistakes again. Yep. All right, so I'm just I'm just scrolling around, viewing everything. Looks like Blue sold his buildings. Speeds up the winning process. So I'll just get the maximum number of tanks. Won't won't waste time getting another skyscraper. Too much time wasted. 
want to maximize your time, efficiency, production, in this game. This game is all about that. Oh, I, I forgot to mention how do unit versus building combat. Well, here you go. So the trick is when when you're facing a one big building like someone's capital, just to move around them. The capital attacks units the closest to them, therefore all your units get lowered and you have majority of units surviving. So if you do this correctly, all the units just survive with one HP instead of like uh, four eight four four fifths of your units dying. All your units surviving. This is how you maintain an advantage when your opponent and you have the same number of units. So I'm going to do this to yellow. I'm going to really focus on yellow this time. Hopefully I can show you how to successfully do this. Even with a half of my fleet of tanks damaged. We're doing that circle tactic again right now. I'm just going to circle around. Kill all his units. Make sure, make sure this capital damages my most healthiest unit instead of my weakest one so my weakest one can have a couple more shots on the cap all right so it's very close very close battle and one my one tank survives okay so now I'll just sell everything on this island and move straight to focus on the other island Remember, in this video, I'll only show you a couple, a couple tips and tricks. Rushing, in my opinion, is the best strategy in order to maintain the early game advantage that flows into the late game. Also, a mistake beginners make is they build a ton of nuclear plants. It's a much better decision to take control of coal and build steam plants. Steam plants are way better than nuclear plants. Plus, you're gaining an increasing advantage over your opponent. I hope you all enjoy these tips and tricks. I might make a part two. We'll see about that. Dear Army out.